Hello and welcome to Tuesday's stream <coughs> and the start of a actually archived Dark Souls adventure. Hey Triad. Yeah, it's snowing up where I am as well. Eh. It's clearing Cornwall! <laughs> Susie's earning herself a place in the corner. I am going to create a new um, channel <laughs> in my Discord. And Susie's going to live in the corner. No. No. <laughs> yes. Well, maybe I'll change... Maybe I'll change... What? I'm going to create it in my Discord. And I might, or I might change Susie's role name to... Um, role section she's in to the corner. Ah. Uh. I'm playing this the wrong way because my guy ah, they can make you go back to normal controls for doing the name. I know. There's no. Oh no, that's in the wrong thingy. How are you otherwise? Well, I think that's just what we're using for this run. Da -da 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 -da, master key, warrior. Ready. Let's go! Yeah, I'm going to leave it in though for this, so... A land of grey crags, arch trees... I would say, um, if Susie had had her hands on the PS4 version, we'd probably be doing that, because, well... We wanted to do, we wanted to do at some point, play the PS4 version, to see, like, how much did they have to change for the Switch? Beyond base, sort of, you know, um, graphical processing, you know, what else was... How different is it, and just what else did they do? I know there was some major tweaks for handheld mode on the Switch, but obviously I'm in docked mode, so they don't show up as much. Handheld mode from the dark. No, I just know, like in the handheld mode, they you know really adjusted the draw distances, but enemies have a you know enemies themselves have a further draw distance than environment to allow distances to still be the same for when an enemy can see you the first of the day. so it's, it's really nicely done. and that's a good clever way to balance you know so you're not really penalizing for people for doing handheld mode while keeping like the full look for docked mode so yeah. Um, plane, I played most of uh, the furtive painting. So forgotten. Apart from when I beat Tartarus. Shush. <laughs> it's no secret. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. But Gwyn's mighty lords peeled apart their stone skins. Yep. And I'm expecting a package to arrive at my house, which has a copy a, a copy of it as well. And I'm just going to be like, Susie. Why have I got this? <laughs> Thus began the age of fire. 
The design of um, the city there makes me think of Attack on Titan. It's got like the, the big walls, the divisions. An only dog. Oh, geez, yeah. You know. Even now, there are only I wonder if the NAB will pop in sometime. And Don't know, because no, no, obviously it's, it's work day for NAB. But only uh, yeah, for NABs. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you one thing, because obviously while I've been playing DS3. Because the dark sign is never really brought up in any of the games. Even though here in the opening speech they do make a big deal about it. That is kind of what the main part of the focus of the Ringed City DLC deals with in 3. You know, sort of going in, what is the dark sign? Because you've spotted that the Ring Knights all have the dark sign on them. Yes. The dark sign brands the undead. What, what have you done? So, um, I haven't even entered the, uh, arena yet, and he's already and in this land, flying up to the air to attack me. Well, um, the I mean, we know Susie breaks video games. Led to the north. Yeah, that's fine, Triad. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Oh, well, you're at the. Wait, you're doing. Oh, so you're in the second. That was the second encounter with him. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I thought you were referring to the first encounter. No. I went to the other room with the undead knight, and I there was this massive noise. And I thought, hold on a minute, he's doing his massive fly-up attack. What? Hmm. So I thought you, you were referring to the fact you managed to get him to do something you shouldn't be doing this early in the game. Everything's set up still. Let's go. I need to collect a couple of things. Then I'll be. Ooh, Petrus. Let me pass to you. Hey, buddy. Let me pass to you again. And it's just easy to punch them rather than um, stab them. Oh, yeah, meet. Meet Stray Demon. Because the developers were lazy and we basically have to fight the same thing how many times? Oh god. Hold on, Stray oh, Demon, right. Asylum Demon, Demon Fire Sage. So yeah, we've got to fight them three times. Yeah, you don't care about your lady. And effectively, Taurus Demon is just like a smaller version of these. And then he gets copy and pasted. So they seem to have been lazy with this, with the demon line, weren't they? Yeah. I'm just practicing my boxing. But, 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 but they, they they stole my lunch money. You know, I wanted my lunch money back. Is that not allowed? What? Well, like I said, they stole my lunch money. How was I meant to get lunch? 
for the rest of the year? But, 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 but lunch is the only meal they give in this prison. Eat the other prisoners? I mean, I was in a cell by myself. Eat the bars. Hello, asylum demon. Demon on the roof! Hold on. Demon on the roof! Hi, buddy. I'm just gonna stand here and let him just rampage for a moment. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. He just no, that was more him because he just then turned around and started walking away. Right, Run. Okay, fine, I'll put me sword on. Cool, good weight. I know that both of us are going to be aiming for a certain covenant. Yeah. Because mm, we want to raise our goddamn son. Well, and we're going to want him for the final fight. What did Susie forget? I forgot to get an item up the top. Oh. So I'm currently earning enough souls so I can level up my character before I go and sacrifice my things. So I might as well kill the enemies in the nearby area. And then, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think I'm done. I'll die soon. I think that's the first time. Actually, maybe the second. I don't know. Regrettably, because I remember the last couple of times you've done wishes. this, you've been hit by that ball. Can... There was an old saying in my thou who art yeah. and thine exodus from the undead when thou yeah, not... I didn't tell my brother when he uh, well, did it. <laughs> Welcome back, tryhard. I can die with hope in my soul. An Estus flask. I bet that was and fun. I'm... Um, he managed to nearly completely dodge it though. He just got caught right at the very end because he didn't roll far enough. But So yeah, he wasn't that annoyed. It was more just like, well... Because <laughs> all I said to him, because I you know, I'd mentioned to him, like, there's um, a guy in the cell who's very important. And he stood at the door you know, around here for a few minutes trying to get this thing to open. And I was just like, look for another way in. So he was just walking around, just punching the walls to save his weapon. And then it was like, uh, this wall's weird. I was like, mm, go find something to open it. I, taught, I got him to the bonfire first. It was like, okay, so that goes back to the bonfire. Go find something to open it. So he started up the stairs and then just the ball is like, uh, and so yeah, he didn't quite roll out from the bottom of the stairs, but yeah. But still, it was... Amusing? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's like, he didn't do too bad. I mean, yeah, he had to do a couple of re repeat battles against Asylum Demon, just because him getting used to the whole thing. Yeah, your first battle against Asylum Demon is always going to take a couple of days. I did it in one. But then bear in mind, I had my DS3 experience. Yeah. So... The hard bit for me was just remembering the limits of DS1 compared to 3.
Hello, ghosties. No, I do not want your hug here. I can hear the asylum demon. He's angry. Yeah. Okay, buddy, I'm coming for you. Take most of your health out. Let me have a rolling roll. A couple of blows to your butt. Whoa! No. Um, yeah, you had the problem. Ah, uh oh. Um, a t uh, um, a new tater. Yes, I'm looking for a tater. I need a tater for my PC. Uh, I rolled the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> they always like to attack you when you're in the middle of healing. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Dead. I took a couple of extra hits that I shouldn't have had, but never mind. Now let's not do what I did last time, because I got turned around, I ended up walking out the wrong door. Well, I forgot that that door at the other end auto opens after you win. Yeah. So I went that way. Uh, take a fall, like, yep. Yeah, welcome oh. back, Dryado. Everything good? Take that. Wait, what'd you get? The undead asylum in pilgrimage. Ah, oh, right, the undead dragon, yeah. To the land of the ancient lords. Eh, yeah, well, I say it's gold, snowing, cold. Uh oh. Cross it high. Yeah. And of course, I don't see her until March. <laughs> we should give her like a little thing for going away. I should have done. And uh, I told her to enjoy her holiday, and mm -hmm. hopefully she should have told her to take her. It's really quiet actually in the, in the chip shop. Maybe because everyone got her the thought she'd already gone. Okay, here we are, Firelink Shrine. Good old friend. Now level up. Yeah, now press down controller. That's that done. Remove everything. Get the other thing first, you taper. What do you get? What did you forget? Uh, to jump down the circle and look the shaft and let the items down there. Oh, yeah, that 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 that, that would help. So let's go get some early game stuff, which is a death run. Wait, what? Right, um, there's a... You know one of those orange slopes 
my messages. Yeah. They're really high up on the ledge, and I was like, how did you get up there? And then I realised what it was underneath. Oh, God. Wait, under... Wait, what? Hang on. It's underneath the walkway up to the berm. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, this is on you. You haven't lost your head. I'm going to store that way in my storage box when I get it. No invasions for this tater. Okay, time to do the graveyard run. Hang on a minute, I need to continue talking to him. Hmm? Is safe here? Can't bear the thought of going. Although, I must admit. How about this? I'll show you what made me the pet. So, yep, yeah, we now have a, um... There's nothing. We're both cursed. I'm dead. Uh, we now have our first, uh, blacksmith. He isn't useful for me. No, I never used him either, but... Hey, if we need to do something early game, before we meet a certain someone... Uh, yes. You know, at least we have him. Although I'd rather make the death run to go and visit someone else. You just like Cthulhu. Yep. Yeah. I mean, come on. He's it's Cthulhu. <laughs> what isn't there to like? I don't know. Then start running. <laughs> running, 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 running. Hang on. Sorry. Sorry, Ev. Run, 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 run. Oh, no, they pushed me off the edge. Yeah, I, got I was at the end. I was at the end of that narrow walkway. If they hadn't pushed me off, I'd have made it. Well, that's cool, Alex. Um... <laughs> All I'll say is, what I'm doing at the minute, um, don't try unless you know what you're doing. FYI, I shouldn't be doing this. No, you should be doing this because you've done it I don't know how many times. Twice. Exactly, after your second time you can do it. So this is the Firekeeper, so give her the, es the Firekeeper's soul. Yay, my Estus Flask is better. But yeah, those souls are lost. There wasn't very many anyway, so... Yeah, when you don't have that many, losing them is honestly the best thing to do. <laughs> well, especially when you're doing this thing. Yeah. See, I'm currently doing the same as you. But I'm currently in the catacombs. I'm just going to go do the dragon. I always try, but I never do, because he always does, like, the claw swipe. Ah, either that or he does, like, the poison mist. Oh, I can dodge the poison mist, but it's the claw swipe I can't. Ah. Forgot that item. Down here. Up round here. Run, Tato. Use Master Key. Oh, well. Um, make the run into Blight Town. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but extra Firekeeper Soul. No, I am not uh, doing that. Yep. <laughs> I did it in. A, I did it for a try in New Game Plus. But yeah, fun. it wasn't that bad. Oh! See? The claw swipe! 
Well, because it's if you pick up the weapons, it seems to trigger him. I always got the weapons, then the soul. Yeah, no, I'm, from what I had found of experimenting, the soul doesn't trigger him. Ah. Whereas the moment you pick up one of the other two, he will auto, or at least, you know, it doesn't, you know, make him react quickly like with the other two weapons. So, yeah. He's, uh... Actually, I'm gonna put the sh shield on. Yeah, put your shield and sword on. Well, if I need to fix armor, I can go down into the, uh... Thing. You, you don't really need to fix your armor at this stage of the game. No, but if it gets... Don't yeah, no, but I mean doing these death runs. If I need it fixed, I can just go down to see uh, Rickett. Come down here. Don't need those. Mr. 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 Let's actually equip the morning star for now because that's going to be helpful. I take an idea. I'm going to grab the scythe like, later on. I cannot be asked. Susie, grab the scythe. No. Please. You know what I'm after. Yeah. <gasps> Come on, run! Stop standing still and run! Okay, that I'd stop because I was taking Estus, but. Don't. Just... Ah, come on, get in the. Alright, decaf is empty. Let's do this. Ah, come on, I can fit through that gap. <laughs> Have fun exploring fire, um, the asylum, Alex. I haven't got any soul. Yeah, that wasn't really a loss of souls, so. Um, a certain someone will be making a fuss. Oh, yeah, that's true. Meow, 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 meow. No. No. Angel is. No. Cookie cat. What happened? I'm getting bad RNG with this cat. It comes right. Uh, why? What happened? Yeah. Oh, is it the two by the bridge? I, like I mentioned, I was having a lot of bad luck with those two. Just constantly jumping in front of me and blocking me. I think those two are... Pr I think once you're past those two, you're fine. Come on, let me get the switch! I managed to get the switch, but of course as soon as I came out the animation of that tiny switch I died. And then I had to 
Yeah, I'm just battering him with a morning star. He's dead. I don't care if I lose these souls because, ugh. Yeah, it's a, th it's a thousand, but, ugh. In all honesty. And I've got a load of the whatchamacallits um, to use. Just getting him out of the way is probably the most useful of the necromancers at this early part of the game. Ah! Oh, one fell off the edge. Okay. Come on. Oh, you shot me in the back. Oh, jeez, that friggin'... He shot me in the back. I'm just waiting for my coffin ride. Oh, here we are. If it wasn't for the fact he had so many skellymen around him, I would probably beat him to death as well. Yeah. Uh, I will say one bit, Alex, for when you get far enough into the game. Uh, look forward to your, to the best area. Sen's Fortress. It's awesome. Also, I do recommend a guide to Dark Souls. Um, I can't really say the full name because of the family friendly rating of this stream. Uh, <laughs> even though this game is rated um, 18. I'm just going to type it in chat. Okay. Oh, damn it. My controller side wobbled and threw me off the edge of the stairs. <laughs> Congratulations, Susie's getting her post um, censored. <laughs> Because Susie wants to keep the family friendly uh, thing, yet she posts that language in the chat. As I said, I didn't say it out loud, so... Meow, 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 meow. But it appears on the stream. You mean the sword. Oh. Yay for when stuff randomly dies by throwing themselves off a ledge. Come on, you skellies. Oh. Oh, come on, that friggin... He keeps fireballing me in the back. And I saw that fireball curve, so he fires homing shots. That's just... Yep, Susie knows that, and Susie should be, because she's the mod. 
Susie's gonna have to... Susie's gonna spend time in the corner, definitely. <laughs> what are kitties doing? Traitors! Hold on. Kitty should be with you. Uh, I'm washing. I do that. Kitties. Come on, keep running. Hopefully this time that skelly doesn't, uh... S s not skelly, the necromancer doesn't shoot me in the back. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Ah, damn, that was my fault. I stopped for an item. I am looking at the chat triad. Yes, I know it bad. So, yes, sir. That's what Susie's punishment is. Susie goes to the corner. And you have to remember a bit like some games it's harder to read the chat than it than others. I shouldn't have stopped to grab that item. That's my own fault there. I just didn't think that was work. Kitties are happy. I think Susie's coming up carrying a kitty. <laughs> Susie brought one of them up. Brought them up with them. Yeah, hear the bell of a kitty. Sounds like Daisy's betrayed us. Okay, I am sorry I can't not burn you. <laughs> but Susie's their owner. Oh. I like how Susie's had to apologise for something which she doesn't need to apologise for. I uh, we heard. Why do you have to apologize to them for catnapping when they are Susie's kitties? Skelly, get out of the way! No! Pick up! Oh, I got it just in time. Uh. 
I see a certain someone on the other side. Patches. Yep. Uh, which kitties are still there? Still here. Okay, I thought you cause you were saying about one being upset and one it sounded like they wanted to, they wandered off. One is upset. They're currently sat on the floor, not facing me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the other one already on the bed. So what, do you carry them both up? I carry them both up. <laughs> I asked Dad to take photos of them before I brought them upstairs. <laughs> Dad was like, yeah, they are so done. I went, nope. <laughs> so Poppy's just happy on the bed. Yeah, Poppy's just happy on the bed. The bed actually having a groom. Nice well, you've ruined their nice fur. I just want to cuddle them more now. The thing is, I'm me saying that you're allergic to certain types of cats, and I'm just hoping I... that this is not the type. Well, of I just it's one cat I've ever I've reacted to. Ah. So they could have just been because it was out in the garden in peak summer. It may have just got a lot of pollen over it. Could have done, yeah. But meh. No. Funny smell. Oh no, they're doing it. Ah! Don't block me! They did it. It's that, those two skellies are just so annoying. I know, it's like, let's block, let's block. This person wants to do something, let's block. <sighs> they're the. <laughs> When we were basically done with the stream, I went straight to bed. Yeah. Come on. Since she's still doing the run, I might try and get the scythe. Hmm. No, nope, come on, roll through it, roll through it. Okay. I'm trying to remember, I need a slap or something. Ah, come on! Wrong way. No! Ah! Uh, I screwed up by going the wrong way. Oh no. I was too concerned about avoiding fireballs. Alright. God. You can do it. I've done it before and that's the thing. The Dark Souls games just love making me suffer extra than everyone else. It never did this stupidity when I was getting my brother to do it. It's like they know it's me and so it's like, yep, let's make this person's life an absolute misery.
try. Hello. Stop under there. Oh, no, come on. Oh, come on, Arrow, dude. The moment I decide to drop my shield for um, getting my stamina back. <sighs> this is probably the worst it's ever been for me trying to run through here. I've never died this many times. Maybe it's decided it's just like, yep, yeah, we're gonna screw them we're gonna screw everyone over today. Uh, I need to we can cut Pavel together. Yeah. I mean his well we want to because we want his ring. Getting to the scythe isn't as bad as getting to the um Sorry no sorry, getting to the covenant isn't oh no they're doing the stone wall Which is strange because the covenant No Okay. I've got to say, Alex, just you wait. This game can change on you instantly. Yep. Wait till you get to things like invaders. Oh, God, yeah. Wait till you meet the other players of this game. Some people are not insane skills. Or just downright rude. Hello, Patches. You look reasonably sane. What do you mean by to this? Are you a cleric or something? I am not a cleric. Well, that's strange. Oh, I know what it is. You've come for the trinkets, haven't you? Well, whatever it is, this place is treacherous. Do you watch your step. <laughs> that laughter isn't ominous at all. I know what he was going to do. He would have pulled that lever and turned that bridge on us. Just clip through it. But we don't need that bridge at the moment anyway. Here, down here, great scythe. There's nothing in this room. Now I'm trying to remember. Was there a way to get to the? No, not from here. Hang on. Push this.
<laughs> Run down here. Well, I tried. Oh no, that skeleton has the um, necromancer in its crotch. <laughs> Grab that. Praise the verb. Down here. And best blacksmith in the game. I quite like our giant friend. B -b -b Cthulhu. Giant friend. Cthulhu. All right then, people. Let's hear in the chat. Giant or Cthulhu? Giant is friendly. Who is like friend? And this guy's Cthulhu. Yeah, but he's got a hammer, and he's always annoyed all the time. But that's because he's a pile of pile of bones. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna homeward bone. I am not. Uh, wait. Because I, I've got, I got to end up with some the lowest souls from this. And lighting these bonfires is a bad idea. Yeah. So if you decide to do these death runs, Alex, do not light these bonfires. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to get stuck. Well, Alex says Cthulhu. Says. What happened? Well, I'm gonna. No, I've got the scythe. I'm now gonna go for the Grave Lord. Reverse hollowing is how you um, become human once you use humanity. Be warned, it while it lets you do summons, it also lets you be invaded. Uh, if you're in the right place. So, yeah. You you start the game hollow. <sighs> no, the three of them ganged up. Susie. Yeah. Oh, good. I thought you. I thought you had problems again there. I'm just concentrating on getting myself through one part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, three of them ganged on me there. Ah! Oh dear. Um, if you're gonna do. If you're gonna summon someone, then yeah. Also, if you want to upgrade bonfires, you need to be human. Yes. So. But like I say, you leave yourself open for an invasion. Because you see the numbers in the top left corner. Which at the minute for me it says zero, 0. That's how much humanities you've got active. Effectively. And you need at least one to be able to use reverse hollowing. Hmm. 
Yeah, so you've got two in reserve. Um, now, if you die, that, n n that number will go down to zero. Um, so you have to pick your souls back up. Um, and you'll get any of those sort of reserve ones back. Okay, you've annoyed me. There. Now you can't do anything. So, yeah. Across <sighs> here. Okay. Line this up right, because if I line it up wrong, I'm dead. Oh! Just made it? <laughs> Just. Jeez. Okay. Hello, Titanite Demon. Oh, uh, this is... Alright. Oh, missed. Grab those. Come on. Yes, dodged him. Okay, let's rest in here for the moment. And wait. Oh boy. Da, 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 da. There we go. About to say, I think they make you wait a little too long for this. Oh yeah, just, just given how quickly it happens at the other end is why, you know. Congratulations, I just got a game over. So there's Nito. Uh, we'll be dealing with him later in the game. Go. Let's get back in the coffin. I can't remember, has it ever explained who does this movement? Um, a skeleton. Yeah. If you look closely, a skeleton's doing it. Mm. Or I think it's Nito himself, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, because you can't see a hand, that's all. Yeah. But you do see a skeleton face. Uh. Simple thing back here though. Run! I am um, always a. Uh, Homeward. Yeah. Oh, well, because I found I can grab some more items. Uh. 
Okay. Lure you in, explodey head. Lure this other one in. Good. Okay, let's get down below. Drop here. Yeah, there we are. Okay, and then I drop the here. There. Go. Oh, come on! Yeah, got all that stuff. There is something on that ledge over there, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I can't get it at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna use another bone. Next to an item, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Now I have my favourite gear equipped. And then go and speak with this guy. Hello there. I believe we are not afraid. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you been? If not, I prefer. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance, Even I but I also want one you of to know. Yeah. Take I'm this. I'm still no. gonna no. get the Drake Sword. Mostly because it's a satisfaction. Oh, oh yeah. I have to. So what if I would that? Very well. Well, I say best weapon of the entire game. Best weapon of the game so far. Hmm. <laughs> Now let me share my miracles. Only their ultimate effectiveness. Learn the gesture. Then he sells some of the miracle spells. Hmm. Not bad, the ones he sells. Come again. The effective. Oh, there's one thing I want to do. So, uh, Hang on. Ah. Let me grab something. What happens if you scan solo? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, amiibo use. Um, wait, that's the wrong button. Hold B. Got it. Yeah, just turn the setting on, and then at any time um, in the main when you're just playing. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's all it does. You learn, praise the sun. You learn the, you learn the meme. There we go. Uh, what wrong button?
option. Am I not working? Um, no, no, close back. Have you got it turned on? I have. Right. Then what you want to do is hold B and put um, the amiibo over the scanner. You might you have to keep holding B. There you go. <laughs> you have to kind of keep holding B to do it. Yeah, I just wasn't holding my thing close enough to see it. Was yeah. Uh, point forward. I don't like the point, so switch. There we go. No, it won't. Now I've got that done. Right. No point reversing the hollowing yet. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that yet because we're not going to be able really for a little bit. Um. Oh yeah, one thing for you to pay attention to, Alex, is your equip load. Um, you start doing what's known as a fat roll if you're over 50% of your weight limit in this game. Later games, they made it, you made it so it takes longer. A little bit, but... Well, if you want to run ahead and do him... I can, I just need to get everything in this area. So... Right, grab that item. I don't actually get baited. Yeah. Yep. Advantage of the scythe, 12 out of 50, yeah, so basically you don't want to go above uh, 25. To upgrade on, when I go, when I'm, uh, I'll go back to the bonfire in a second and show you. There, Make that jump. of sacrifice that's good I'll show you at the bonfire what, um something there isn't the weight limit something like in this game it's like 21 isn't it um, depends on wait what do you mean you know the weight limit in this game I'm trying to remember what it is it's 50, well, the before you fat roll or just overall? Before you fat roll. Um, it's say 50%. Um, so depending what your weight limit is at the start, I think most characters start with like 50 weight limit or something like that anyway, so. I think the. Yeah, well, for what I started with anyway, I got 50. Um, so yeah. Um, so going after each of these, Vitality boosts your HP, Attunement, at, at, at the, the, most of the time you're going to think Attunement is doing nothing, what it is is you have a thing on the bottom right part of the listing called Attunement Slots, every now and then you'll get another one of those if you put enough into the Attunement. Um, endurance boosts your stamina and equip load. Um, so boosting your stamina is... Well, endurance is always good. There is a limit to how much your stamina will go to, but your equip load will keep levelling up beyond the limit of stamina. Strength... Well, makes sense. Bolt boosts up your strength for wielding equipment and how much damage they do. Same with dexterity. Resistance, ignore that stat. <laughs> the truth. Yeah, ignore it, 
Intelligence is to do with your um, sorcery magic. Faith is to do with your divine magic and lightning. And then your humanity, well, you don't level all that. There is another form of magic known as pyromancy, which is as OP as anything in this game. Yep. So much so that they had to nerf it in both sequels because they still didn't they didn't nerf it enough in the uh, first sequel. You said um Alex got this on Switch, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can co-op it. Because you can have a maximum of two people summoned. There is a way to do an extra summon, but... It's a little bit It's a... Again, like with being human, it's risk-reward. Because it allows you to have an extra invader active at the same time. So, yeah, there is a... But yeah, we can work together. Um, are you in a safe place at the moment, Alex? And by that I mean just like no enemies about to jump on you or anything. Because we do need an item to actually do the multiplayer. Or at least for one of us to start. Yeah, because um, what to do, you can, they added something in, well, for Remastered they did something different because they had no like friend search system in Dark Souls 1 originally. They lifted the system from Dark Souls 3 where you have the network settings. So, yeah. So go into the network settings in the menu and then switch region matchmaking to global and the way you filter for people you know is you put a password in. Now this doesn't stop other players invading you, it just means people with the same password have, you know, will show up as summon signs. Now, unfortunately, we are using a very common one. One, two, three, four. Um, you know what? We'll switch to the other password we use, Susie. What's the other password? The one me and Nab are using. Oh. Okay, yeah. So that'll make it more likely because one, two, three, four is so common. Yeah, you want name display with character name, yeah. And then launch, start online, summon time visibility restricted. I don't know what means we need to show restricted, unrestricted, so I'm just leaving it as restricted. But yeah, if you do those settings, we can get you in with us. So, yeah. Hi, rat. Bye, rat. Rats are good for farming um, humanities. Although that rat, not so much. <laughs> Susie has a humanity farming addiction. I don't. You do. See? I haven't actually done it in a long while, so I have no idea where my is now. 
And you got cut. Oh, yay! That's this good. Every time. Perfect. Yeah, obviously we can't do the multiplayer just yet. You could say we need an item to be able to put our, um, our the ability to be summoned down. Which mean which you have to get through another boss to get to. There's a good thing that makes it to a boss though before actually. Yeah. yeah. Well in three yeah, in two they give you a weaker version to start with. And then three you can just buy it at the beginning of the game. Yeah, but it's, you know. <laughs> Susie's unable to speak. Oh no! Get out of the way! I thought Nab was the one with the sex dungeon. I said hell dungeon, I wasn't going to say sex dungeon. <laughs> They're basically the same thing for you. get that item. Ah, uh, because I like... I, I'm lucky enough, I can probably plunge attack that. Nope, I'm not lucky enough. That item. Sealed. Okay. Well, the other thing, Alex, is also to note when you beat the boss of an area, you. Oh, we what? The invader and uh, myself, we killed each other. Well. You didn't lose to the invader. Exactly. Oh, no, my earphone. I can't hear. Now, can you? <laughs> a plunge attack. Oh, there you go, Sublair. You can watch me play. You can praise the sun while we play. But yeah, like I said, so. Once you beat the boss of an area, you lose the ability to summon in the area. There are a couple of areas you just can't... Yeah, and you can't be invaded if you're not allowed to summon in an area, so... Um, filing... Can be summoned? I can't remember on that bit. Firelink Shrine is one of only a couple of... Whoa, oh, Drake! There we go. Firelink Shrine is one of only a couple of areas in the game that you know, um, you just can't do it full stop. Yeah. That guy dead. It's always good to try and like separate groups apart if possible. Reasons I like the great. 
Mm. Yeah, the wooden shield. Yeah, I have the dragon crest shield. They do that because some people don't know about you can get there early if you have a certain key. Also, if you have the master key, you can open up a door in this area. Oh, sorry, two doors in this area. That door being one of them. Actually, I'm going to sit at this bonfire. Because, yes, it will respawn everyone around here, but... It's kind of worth it, just to get a few extra soldiers. And, given what we're about to meet. The path I'm going to take. Uh, depends. Are you allowed to take on a certain night? No. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna do the boss and then I'm gonna go back to matey. Or either do matey and go to boss. Mm -hmm. Come on. Try and get past that. Ah, damn it, that went wrong. Nope. Come on, I'm trying to. I want to show off something here, but. Game's not letting me. Okay. Come over here, spear dude. I want to show something. Come on. Attack me. Fine. He does not... Yeah, you can go through those things. Not all of them lead to bosses. Some of them are just, like, progression point sort of things. Yeah. Break all these boxes. Yay. Down here... Go out here. Well now. But the one lesson my best friend taught me you? when she was sharing me dark <laughs> was most uh fog doors are gonna be bosses. Yeah, most really of them are. <laughs> you can usually tell which ones are bosses though. Yeah. So this guy sells something very important early in the game. This, the bottomless box. And the residence key. That you don't really, well, you do need it for a reason later. There's also a weapon he sells we want. Everything that we need from him costs a thousand. I'm going to save my souls for the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just want to go into like this bit. So there is a bonfire up here. I need like 3,000 souls for him. Oh, I forgot there's an undead behind those um, bookshelves. I... I always forget he's there. Come on, buddy. No, I just realised. What? 
summoning thing, or we both did the boss to get the summoning thing. Yeah. Well, nobody's gonna have uh, help with Havel. Um. Uh, I like to do Havel myself. Hmm. Yep. Here. Throwing knives down the line. That up. Okay. Okay. So is he's gonna be in trouble? Sorry. Ah, I didn't get the blooming sword. I just got the titanite chunk. Wait, what? I fought a certain knight. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I didn't get my favorite weapon. Oh well. I'll just cry about it in my sleep. Don't worry. Yeah. God, that was nine on this platform. Oh my god. To be honest, one of the um, boss walls up here, I don't think that is gonna know it's a boss wall. <laughs> yeah. I think you know which one I'm on about. Um Yeah. The the, the 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 awesome boss. Yeah. Dead. The one I'm actually about to fight right now. Oh, I'm thinking of a different boss. Oh, and that one, yes. Because I know which one you're thinking of. That one, yes. Oh God, that would be so funny. No, 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 that's not the one. Wait, are you thinking. Which one are you thinking of? I'm thinking of the one that I normally cheese with bombs. As well. No, that's not who I was thinking of. Who are you thinking of? The duo. But not that duo. Not. I've got a great axe. Not the fan favourite duo, the other duo. The, the the duo that we're heading towards right now. I am so confused right now. You know, the 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 duo that we're heading towards at the moment. Okie dokie, I've bought bottomless box and oh. the key. So I'll buy arrows, bow and arrows later. Susie loses it. Part one. Controller, can you attack, please? It's like I had a bit of desync for my controller there. Hi, Drake. Hi, Drake. See me, Drake. Nah, not at all. Nah, not at all, buddy. Knock down that ladder. Mm hmm. Okay, can I now do it with you two? Set up bonfire, level up, 
Come on, please let me do it, game. Please let me do it. Okay. Oh, I just survived. Now to talk to a certain body about a certain thing. <laughs> yeah, have you made it to that bonfire, Alex? Oh, an item dropped. Another short sword. It's like Susie doesn't know how this game works. <laughs> FYI, I beat a boss for her before I even played this game. Oh, shit. You gave me permission! We're all playing past the controller! But I was the one that did it! I know. Cool, so once I've made it to pass the next boss and got the summon thing, both of us can help you. I wasn't saying anything there. I know. But a cat looked at the laptop at, um, with that though. Oh, still keeping it and go ahead, never had. <laughs> All right, purchase Thank item. You now I can buy the short bow. Buy a load of wooden arrows. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah, the shop. So, oh, let me go back up to the bon. Let me start from the bonfire. Um. So from here, this bonfire. Let me. Just kill the people outside. I'll get become human once I've done this for Alex. So let me just. So yeah, fight your way down here. Okay. Then go across this little bridge to where these two spear guys are. There. Now there's a load of boxes up on this side. So just roll through them. Or attack the boxes. It's your choice which way you want to do it. And you'll open up this staircase. Go down it. And then through this archway, and there's the shop guy. There we go. Yep. Yeah. It's this is a little though all these enemies just up by the bonfire are good ones to just get some souls so you can buy the stuff off him. The only important things you need are the key, the bottomless box, and the um, and a bow and arrows. That's all you really need off him. Everything else that's important from him, we're going to get for free. I need to... Oh yeah, I'm... Wait a minute. I got a free soul. And occasionally you can get a free humanity off killing all the guys outside. That's oh, what I got. Oh, the kitties. I know. 
Right, so I'm now human. My where's your summon sign? Right outside the door because he is not allowed by the fire. Did you change the password? I did change the password. Okay. Oh, come on. There it is. There we go. So summon. So yeah, some fog walls will a- <sighs> Sorry, because this guy jump attacked me. Some fog walls will appear when you're- when you're doing a summon or you're invaded, which block you off from things. Because that's just like the limit of your multiplayer area. So, like, I can't go back to that bonfire because it's now sealed off from me. But like, if Susie dies... Oh. Hello. Hello. But if Susie dies, I'll be able to access there again. Yep. More or less, person that summons... The person that summons is important. The person that is summoned is important. Yeah, so like, we there are times where one of us will like, charge off... Uh, ...against something rather deadly... Because it doesn't matter if that other person dies. Yep. It does matter if the summoner dies. So, like, right now, it doesn't matter if Susie dies. Because when you're summoned, there is no penalty for you dying other than going back to your world. Um, wait. That's not that stairway. Um, door. I only have two oh, oh, yeah, you only have half your Estus. <laughs> when summoned. Oh, yeah, so just, you know, buy some arrows, and if there's anything else you see that that guy has you want, grab him. Stuck on the thing. Uh oh. What? There we go. It's alright, the wooden platform didn't want to let me go anywhere. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, okay. Uh, I think that was a. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's alright, we'll come and get you once I've got my um, bit. My soapstone. Alright. Right, I've opened the door. Okie dokie. Chest. Some gold pine resin. As soon as you don't just charge off too far ahead. Susie die? Black Knight. <laughs> oh, Susie, I wanted to showcase that. Sorry. Coming back. I didn't kill it gladly, so. I'm not going to rest at the bonfire, but. That was unnecessary, though. Because <laughs> me and Susie have a special way of dealing with these tough enemies. <laughs> I love this game. Yep. Like I said, just sort of buy around, get a good number of arrows, and like I say, any other bits you want from him, or like you can just use whatever souls for leveling up. Wait for Susie's summon sign. Yay, and... Oh, yeah. You can play with the ragdoll physics. Because... Watch the body go around. I think my favourite place to do it is in the depths. 
Oh, he's hanging on by his arm. <laughs> and his head. I am <laughs> Down he goes. The rag don't... Straight, oh, and then yeah. It will just fall to the ground. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. Down there. We're going there later. Most place, most things you can see in the game, we're visiting. A big high wall up there. Yes. Yep. Yep, we're going up there. That's basically our goal going up there. At the moment. Not my you lost most of your health just then. Yeah, uh, I didn't get out of the way of a certain barrel. Mm -hmm. Meet Black Knights. I'll be there in a moment. I'm just getting you something. Yeah. I think it is there any? Uh, Titanite creature. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, nothing down this end of the path. Cool. Yeah. Black Knights are basically one of the toughest things you're going to encounter. Uh, thankfully, unless you are in one area of the game, these guys do not respawn. Ah, Susie! Get out! I couldn't... FYI, uh, most common cause of death for me in Dark Souls is Susie. Now I can't get in to do it. Oh, well, he's dead. I got a Titanite. Chunk. Oh, I was gonna lose my absolute <laughs> Susie, remember, for me... It's always been stupidly hard to get Black Knight weapons. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, when we were doing the Tater Squad playthrough. You had to give me a Black Knight weapon because we went through all of them and I never got one. I remember and I was getting lucky with all of them. And Nab was doing pretty well as well. Nab was. Then again, that's just Nab. Yeah, but it was the fact that and then when we did our original duo play for, I only got a Black Knight weapon off the very last one. So, I am due the game giving me a Black Knight weapon early. Knowing my... Knowing my brother's... Knowing my brother, he's going to get, like, the Black Knight sword off that one. I say, knowing his luck, it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Bow and arrow is going to be useful for some stuff upcoming. Or just in general, if you don't want to... If you want to, like, pick something off, bow is going to help. But uh, um, just bear in mind, you're still. it's also distance-related for damage. And there is drop-off. Yes. And short bows... Don't necessarily have that much range, but it's helpful for what we're going to be dealing with. Also, the different arrows all behave differently when shot. Yeah. Uh, wooden arrows are the second longest distance arrow. So I believe, yeah, the, no, that is the lightest one, isn't it? No, the feather arrow. Yeah. Yeah, feather arrow is the longest distance. Then it's. Um, wooden, then standard, then large. Oh yeah, kill the Black Knight, get a blue tear stone ring. Can equip two rings. Now the one thing they did, ch I will say, they changed in Dark Souls two and th uh, in Dark Souls two, which kept in three, they actually put weight limit um, on the rings. Here, you can wear whatever rings without penalty, really. Whereas in Three, uh, they use up your weight limit. Well, two and three. 
Right, you fully healed. Here we go. Let me go first and Well, let's get him up one floor. Um, this one is not it. Hold on, let me check. It's this floor. Okay, well, let's just show anyway. Hi, Havel. Right, this guy. He is gonna hurt. But. Oh. You know what I'll quickly do? Um, actually, I don't know. Alex, you got a microphone? Yeah. I know he's got Discord. Right. Meet backstab teacher. Yeah, meet me and Susie's favourite way to play backstab. Backstab tennis. Or in your case, back smack. Oh, I thought my, my animation wasn't lining up there. Oh, no. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's just standing still now. Oh. Oh. I don't know, but... Oh. Oh, I died. Uh, you do. Oh no, I have to get that back. Okay, cool. I'm gonna. Hold on. Uh. I think it's the save and reload situation. I mean, the item's gonna be waiting there. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Right, sent you an invite to my Discord channel. Cool. Um, so if you jo jump in what the channel that says audio chat, I can move you into the streaming one. Oh my god, I hella approve your um, profile picture on Discord. <laughs> Susie is a big My Hero fan. <laughs> I love My Hero. But I got to see the film. There we go. There we are. Alright. Okay, so this now... You, you just what? Yay! That's baptism by fire. In fact, for someone's first playthrough to not die in the asylum is actually pretty good. Okay, I'm human. You've got to get your souls back. I got my souls back. Because uh. um, I didn't. I died not too far away from the bonfire. Yeah. Um. So into those two shield guys. Yeah, they can be a bit of a pain. Oh, hello. I was thinking if I need, like, a new weapon, my old one might not be great. Yeah, well, that's the one thing you can always do in this opening bit here is. Experiment with different weapons. See what you're good with, see what you're comfortable bad. with. Yeah. My current weapon is a dagger. Y yeah. Uh... Yeah. You might want to sort of build up some souls and maybe buy one of the other weapons from the shop guy. I have 880. Yeah. Like I say, it's up to you how you want to do it. I think I can. Yeah. I, I like my. It's down to how you want to play. Because, like, I, you know, I'm using the scythe because I like a good long reaching weapon. Yeah, that probably helps quite a bit in a yeah, game like this. You have to do, like, as you saw, the very, very da dangerous run. 
so that's the only thing. Yeah. Rapier is like um, they have what's known as thrusting swords. So I think from like spear swords. Yeah. Well, that I fell. It's one of those things you want to hit with a point. Okay. Oh yeah, be prepared for the game to pull some pretty stupid things on you. It likes um, attacking you through walls. Yeah. Yeah. Now there is actually one enemy that is is able that well is naturally able to attack through walls because you saw the ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. That obviously they make sense to be able to attack you through a wall. The um, so. everything. Uh, there's no. There's nothing here. Oh no, please don't say I've lost this ring. Um, let me black separate the pistol. Okay. Save and reload. Check yeah. those floors. There's me souls. <laughs> yeah, some... Yeah, sometimes saving and reloading, well, quit and reload is good if you miss certain things. I say save and reload, it's... it's you auto-save anyway. Yeah. Because you'll encounter these little, like, lizard creatures that will run away from you. Those things, if you miss them, you just quit and reload the game. And they'll have reset... No. Oh, that was really bad luck. No, I don't get it. Uh. I buy a rapier and then, as a pillaging boot, I get a short sword. Hmm. Okay. Oh, um, the chest in Fire Link. You know which one I'm on about. You're the one in Framp's room. Damn it, because that... That might have it. If you miss a ring, or you forget a ring, or you pick up a ring, or drop a ring, or something It's like only that. certain items it does, I know that. I'm not quite sure if that will have it. So that's the only thing. I do know that thing about it. It's like certain items. Um, because I know, like, um, if you miss... Um, like, you know, progression drops or something. Mm. Or you lose something that's important for progression. Because it is... Ca um, I don't know if it's still in this game, but I know in the um, it's meant to be in the original version of DS1. You could drop the um, Lord Vessel. And if you did that, um, that's how you would get it back. Yeah, don't take on the Black Knight alone for your first try. I mean, not the Black Knight, this is the shield guys. The uh. There we go, finally. Keep blocking. 
They're not the worst thing you're going to encounter in the game, but they are just so annoying this early. Also, some insiders now. Well, I'm leaving the area anyway. Well, it makes sense that the dagger doesn't use up much. Different weapons use up different amounts. Mm. You also, um, I th it's like your your um, stats, I think, also play into it. So, so check what it requires for like strength and dex. Because it, you know. Yeah, hang on, let me just get safely inside Firelink. Right. right, so if you go... well, Change equipment, so yeah, open up the bit for where you choose and then press Y. You end up with a display with all the weapon stats. And then on the right of the two stat bits it says required parameters, or you know, in abbreviated form. And you get four sets of numbers. The first one is strength, second one is dex, third is intelligence, fourth is faith. I see. I mean, I've got nine strength and sixteen dex, whereas the requirements are seven strength and twelve dex. Okay. I can use it. It just could be a weapon that's just naturally consuming. No, the chest is open. I cannot get Havel's ring. I'll sacrifice my um, Havel's ring. No, I think what I'll do is... I mean, we're pretty... Actually, yeah, sorry, Alex. Uh, but it's all about the end of where I'll be streaming today anyway. That's fine. So we can get you through next Tuesday, hopefully. I think what I'm going to do is restart the character. And then we can go back and get it. So, yeah, I'll just stand here for now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyone watching? So, back tomorrow for Mystery Wednesday. Uh, next time, like I say, we'll have to fix this character thing. That's annoying. That ring was lost. So, yeah. You know, follow or subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.